Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another Early Morning with Debbie. I'm starting today with a question from a customer regarding plate number 308. 308 has a lot of larger images on the plate. It is a French Manny plate. And larger images, as you know, can be a little tricky. Kind of up there with the fine images, but you treat them pretty much the same way. So let's go over a couple things that are really important to make sure you have success lifting large images like this. First and foremost, it is very, very important that you are working on a flat, solid surface. Even having a towel underneath the plate, a paper towel that can give a little bit of movement, you want to avoid that beyond something that is flat and something that is solid. The next thing you need to make sure of when you grab your polish is that your polish is well mixed, first of all, and not too thick. So I've got color number 223 here. Let's start with this guy. I'm going to try and use some high contrast colors here so you can see what I'm doing. Yep, yeah, this one's good. It's not too thick. So let's go ahead. We'll start with one of these bigger images here. We are going to fill the entire tray, if you like, of the image. Picture it as a tray need to make sure that it's full of polish. Got my stamper in hand ready to go. Not going to talk for too long because we don't want this to start drying. I'm going to come and swipe once at an angle across this image, holding my scraper, hopefully you can see here, holding my scraper almost parallel to the plate, nice and flat. And there's my lift. So I did one scrape. Now we'll do another one here. And I'll push a little bit too hard so that you can see what happens when you push too hard and you end up taking off too much of the image. Now I don't, it's a little bit of an over pickup over here. It doesn't matter. I don't need the whole image because my nail is not as wide as the image is. So I'm going to use what's over here in the center and to the left. And we're just going to come to the nail. I'm going to go up a little higher so we get most of the details on here because I am going to do the second the second part of this layered image so that you can see what it looks like and there's our French portion cleaning these off here with my sticky pad and let's go ahead and lift the next part of this image which is right here beside it and let's do, let's go, you know what, gold would be really pretty with that. Let's do number 123. Uh, yeah, it was this guy. Okay. I know this is supposed to be about lifting large images, but let's do the whole thing so you can see how it finishes. And those were a little bit delicate, so same thing. Actually, I kind of, that's all I do now when I'm stamping is, is two-handed. I'm just ready to go with that, with that stamper as soon as I scrape. Okay, now hopefully I'm in frame here. Now I'm just gonna line this up. You can, it's pretty obvious where these go. Take your time, get it in place. And once you like where it's sitting, give it a push and a little wiggle. And there we go, there's our first French tip. Let's go ahead and do another one here. Grab a cotton here, give it a little clean up. And let's do another one. Let's do it in a different color. Let's go with white. Lots of people like to do the white still. I don't know that I would go with white on these tips, but it's great for contrast to show you what I'm doing. So let's pick another one that's big. There's another big one right here. And again, I'm gonna basically fill up this tray, if you will. Don't talk too much, that polish has already started drying. So there's the little extra push that I was talking about. Come over again, a little bit lighter that time. And again, we've got that little bit of over pickup over here, but don't worry about it. We can use everything that's over here our nails are not that wide, right? These are much wider than our natural nails are. Okay, so 
let's go far up again. I like to go quite far up because I want to get as much of these pretty swirls on there as I possibly can. Give it a wiggle because I've been chatting. I always have a couple of sticky pads. I've got another one over here that I'm, <laughs> that I'm using back and forth. If you're wondering why this one looks so clean. Ah, and I pushed a little bit too hard on this tip. I've got a little bit of a split in my jelly. These tips are really sharp, so be careful with them if you're playing with these for, for practice or if you're making press-ons. Okay, let's clean this and go ahead and do the, the details underneath. And let's do, just so we can see, we'll do them in that dark blue again. You can do black. I don't know that that's a color I would wear, that taupe with the white. It's a little, little stark. And there's our lift. Grab this guy. Just flip him around because these guys go at the top of them. So now you can see where our where our swirls are gonna go. That one's gonna encompass that a little bit. So I'm gonna aim for that center where the weight is. Can't talk and aim at the same time. <laughs> there we go. See what I mean about the colors? Not exactly a combination I would wear, but for the purposes of being able to see in a video, it, I think it helps. There's that one. That one I would definitely wear. I love that blue with the gold and the, and the taupe color. So there you go. Lifting those larger images. First and foremost, nice solid surface. Make sure your polishes are a good quality stamping polish, preferably because they should have enough pigment in them in that, in that case for, for easier lifting. And a quick flick of the wrist, that scrape is gonna be important. So keeping that scraper flat and light, light pressure, right? You saw when I pushed a little tiny bit, it takes out that center. Go again, flatten it, lighten it up a little bit. It's gonna be all about getting that, that rhythm and figuring out what works for you um, with, with that scrape especially. So I hope this helps. Um, please let me know if there's other things you'd like to see. I'm always happy to put together these videos to help you troubleshoot. Um, makes my morning, to be honest. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.